Hey guys, it's Kat and I'm back today for my second declutter video. This one, we go a little bit more into the products. The last one, which was my base products, um, I actually had my base products pretty under control. So um, I only had a few foundations open, a few concealers open. So I only decluttered a few things and a lot of other things were just backups that I just store in a drawer. So this one is my colored face products. So my bronzers, my blushes, and my highlighters. Now, back in the day, I used to be a bit of a blush junkie, not so much these days. And then since that, I was more of a highlighter junkie. So I've got a lot of stuff and I wanted to get rid of a lot of stuff. So um, yeah, that's what we're doing in this particular video. I still feel like that I've got too much products. So what I've been doing as I've been putting things away and testing things is I still am decluttering them, um, but I didn't want to get rid of everything. I sort of wanted to give things a go first. So over the next month or so, I will still get rid of some of these blushes and highlighters, but I'll do that as I start using them up. So, or start using them and testing them. So even though there is still a lot left, um, I do endeavor to still get rid of some. So uh, keep watching and stay till the end if you wanna see uh, what it looks like after I've sort of decluttered it and sort of put it away. All right guys, today we are tackling bronzers, highlighters and blush. Now this is out of control. Uh, I've got two of these drawers and I sort of uh, spread these over two or three drawers, probably highlighters. I go bronzers and powders and um, blushes in another drawer. So this is sort of like three drawers worth. It's a lot of stuff. This I really want to minimize. I know for a fact that to use up a blush, it takes me roughly a year. Uh, to use up a highlighter, it takes me roughly a year. So I am going to endeavor, this is where I really want to cut down my collection um, because in the last video, which was base products, I use base products every single day um, and I can go through a foundation in two months. I can go through a powder in two to three months. I can't go through these products in that time. So I am going to do a lot of swatching and if there are double ups in shades, I am going to get rid of one. I'm not going to keep excess stuff. Um, if I've got multiple things that look the same, there is no point having multiples of them. Now, I did go through before and uh, I got rid of, I, like I donated unopened things that I haven't opened. These have all been opened and used, so none of these are being donated, but I will, um, you know, Let's have a look. Let's have a swatch fest. Let's do it. All right. So hopefully you can see the chaos that is this situation. It does not need to be this bad. It is ridiculous. So I am going to start cutting shit out. Now, where the hell do I start? That's the question. I'm going to start with bronzers because that's just here. There's not many bronzers. I've got a MAC. This is from a limited edition collection. This is Aphrodite Shell. I really love this. Um, I'm going to keep it. I might actually try to uh, pan that later. It's a great winter bronzer. I really like it. So I'm keeping that. I'm keeping my Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, this is a bay, like a sculpt and highlight powder. I'm keeping that because I love the movie. That is memorabilia to me. I love it. The Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. I actually quite like this and I'm going to probably try to pan this. I also along with uh, the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Ticket to Brazil. So I've started trying to use this to see if it's a product that I would like to use. Um, and I think I'm going to pan these this year. Butter bronzer, I cannot stand the scent of. It's disgusting. I am going to give that away or throw that away. Sadly, I bought this Laura Mercier uh, bronzer and it's a really, really nice looking bronzer. Too bad it looks really muddy on me. So even though this is going to be really sad to see it go because it looks really cool, um, I'm actually going to get rid of this because I just don't use it. It's too red on me and it looks unnatural so this is going to go sadly another bronzer that is a weird this is like a contour powder it's just a weird color for me this is by pixie this is the natural contour powder in shape and shadow um, and it is a good contouring powder but on me it looks dirty so i'm getting rid of that i also tried to use this the other day just to test it out this is the uh, milani baked bronzer in dolce and i bought this not that long ago but I think the shade is just too light for me. It just sort of 
makes me look more yellow so I'm getting rid of that. This bronzer by Mecca is also very new um, and let's get it up. This is by Mecca Max. This color is actually really pretty. It's a massive bronzer. There's no way I'm going to use this anytime soon but it is new and I really like the color so I'm keeping it. I'm also keeping my Marc Jacobs. This is the Tantastic Bronzer. I bought this during the year. It is also a similar kind of shade. A really nicely finely milled powder. So I'm going to keep that. And then lastly, I'm going to keep the Too Faced. This is the Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer. I really love this. I've been using it a lot lately, as you can see. Uh, it's a really, really nice product. No, this is lastly. Lastly is Hula Bronzer. I really like Hula Bronzer. It is a good color for me. Uh, it's very neutral. It's not too uh, sort of warm. It's not too cool. It doesn't look muddy on me. So I'm keeping this as well. So out of the bronzers, I'm keeping two to pan and I'm keeping six in my collection. So bronzer is not my issue. Blush and highlighter is definitely my issue here. All right, let's start working through some of these blushes. I am going to keep this MAC one. This is the Sweet Sentiment Mineralized Skin Finish. This is a limited edition shade and it's a really, really nice mauve sort of slightly shimmery color. I really like that. I used to really be into cool tone blushes, you will see, because there's a lot of cool tone blushes happening around here. Um, and I don't like cool tone blushes as much anymore. So I'm going to keep this one and I'm also going to keep the Rocky Horror one. This is also a cool tone sort of plummy blush. I'm mainly keeping this for, once again, collector's purposes. I love Rocky Horror Picture Show. I really like MAC. So I'm keeping these two, but this is probably going to represent a lot of these cool tone blushes. I'm going to get rid of a lot of them because I prefer this uh, mineralized blush uh, sort of formula than some of these other ones. So I'm going to, yeah, do that. All right, I'm going to start swatching some of these sort of purpley ones that I used to love back in the day. This one is far too purple for me these days. This is over dyed. It's a satin blush. I'm going to get rid of that. This one is an ombre blush in vintage grape. I thought it was really cool. It is kind of cool, but I just, you know, I'm not going to realistically, I'm not going to wear it. It's not what I'm into these days. So I'm getting rid of that. This one is an interesting one. This is full of joy and it's more of a soft lavender color. Uh, it's far too cool for me. I used to be, I don't know how I used to get away with wearing these colors. I just can't do it anymore. Uh, and then we have Sakura, which is the mineralized blush. Once again, I really like the mineralized blush formula. So I'm thinking if I do keep any of them, I'm going to keep that one, but I really don't need purple blush. Let's be real. Uh, it's kind of interesting though, but I think out of all the ones on my hand, the one that I put in the drawer is definitely the one I like the most. This is really cute. So I think I might actually get rid of these three and keep this one just as a nice representation of my past and what I used to like wearing. Note to self, don't forget to keep these to back to Mac them, please. <laughs> so important. I also used to really like bright blushes. This is by Makeup Store. It's a really bright one. It's a mix of like orange, red, and pink. And it's actually a really beautiful color, but it is far too bright for me these days. So I'm going to get rid of that. It could make a good eyeshadow, but it's really old. So that's going. I also think um, this by Illamasqua, this is in the shade Tremble. It's a really beautiful color, but I might actually try that one because I love this formula and that's a nice sort of peachy color. I'm going to keep that one. What I am going to surprisingly get rid of is by Tom Ford. This is in the shade uh, Flash and this is once again that sort of bright color. It's really not my jam these days. So I'm going to get rid of that, which is sad to see it go, but it's going. I've got this shade here by Lorac. This is in the shade soul it's a really nice sort of cool tone nude this is super old but it's such a nice sort of brown color so i might see if i've got other shades like that in my collection i'm sure i do but i might pan that one one i do want to pan is uh nars orgasm this is a little mini that i've had for a long time actually this one is so dry it's sort of hard to get i have another one i actually have another one somewhere in here so I'm going to get rid of this one and I might pan the other one. I've got NARS Sin. So you can see I really like these sort of purpley shades. This one is sort of a bit, it's a nice color. Uh, it's just not something I reach for these days and it's a bit firm. So I'm going to get rid of this, which is sad, but it's 
going to happen. Um, uh, this Hourglass Radiant Magenta, you can see I used to really like bright shades. Um, this doesn't do it for me these days. It's too clown pink. I'm getting rid of it. Rose Gold by Sleek. I love this color. Um, it's a beautiful sort of mix between, hang on, I'll show you here. It's a mix between sort of like a highlighter and a blush. I'm keeping it. I love it. It's so good. Miraness, lol. Uh, I'm getting rid of that. Surprise, surprise. Um, Steeler, I'm actually going to keep this. This was my all time favorite blush for a very long time, and I've just got good sentimental value to it. So I'm keeping that as like a collector's thing. It's weird. I love it. I'm keeping it. Uh, this is NARS Luster. I love this. It's my favorite NARS blush. It's a beautiful, sort of orangey uh, gold blush, and I really, really love it. It's sort of like like a con not contour but like bronzer blush highlighter in one i might endeavor to pan this this year because i've had it for a very long time but i do really love it this one by bare minerals is a new one for me i got it in this year and it's a nice sort of peachy nude color so it's a nice sort of soft color as well it's not as bright as these guys so i'm going to keep that but i'm going to swatch it compared to other things but it's new ish so i'm going to keep it um i also got with a gift with purchase like a, no a birthday gift at sephora this is the tart party uh amazonian clay blush um and it's in a nice nude color so uh that's a beautiful color there if you can see yep so i'm keeping that i'll definitely use that uh, I have been using this blush a lot recently. Uh, it's by uh, Milani. It's a baked blush in uh, Berry Amore, I think. Yeah. And it's not a bad color. I've got a few of them, so I'm going to swatch them all and see if I need them all. Uh, I've also got Carolina, which I actually surprisingly really liked and used a lot of. It's sparkly and it's orange, but I kind of liked it. So I might put this in the test out pile. If I use it recently and like it, I will keep it. Otherwise, I won't keep it. Uh, and I've also got this one in Rose de Oro, which is more of a sort of terracotta color. It's more like the NARS Luster, but a little bit softer in shimmer. I quite like that. Oh, it's so hard. Why is this so hard? Um, there's my little Nars Orgasm Mini. So I'm going to keep this. It hasn't been used. I'm going to keep that and probably declutter it. Oh, uh, Project Pan it. That's the one. I've got Wild Honey by Becca. This is a beautiful sort of sandy nude color. It's quite different to other things I have. So it's similar to the NARS one, but less shimmer. I'm going to endeavor to try to use this more and see if I like it. Hourglass, this is Mood Exposure. I love Mood Exposure. It's a really, really beautiful uh, sort of winter shade. It's a little bit sort of, you can see it's like a mauvey rose, but it blends out so nicely. And I don't think I've got anything else quite like it. It reminds me a little bit actually of the Tarte one, but I'm going to keep this because I love it. I did want to pan this 2018. I didn't get around to it, so I might do it in 2019. I've got a bunch of MAC stuff. Oh my God, how many MAC things do I have? A lot. All right, so from a limited edition collection, I've got these two extra dimension blushes, Seduced at Sea and See Me, Hear Me. I actually quite like these. One is more of a dark berry shade um, and one is more of an orangey shade. I want to use these more this year. They are quite firm. Maybe I won't use them. Maybe I'll back to Mac them. I really like the packaging though, so I'm a bit confused on what to do. I might try to wear these more. And if I don't like them, I'm going to back to MAC them. So I'm putting this in like the maybe pile. Then I've got a permanent shade in Margin. Uh, this is one that is a really, really pretty nude. It's got a bit of a shimmer to it. Wait, can we see? Um, it's got a, like a nice sort of glow to it. It's really, really, really beautiful. Um, I want to use more of this, so I'm going to do so, hopefully. Uh, I've got a MAC Patrick Star. I've got my grubby hands all over it. This is a beautiful duo with a bronzer and a nice blush. I'm keeping this. This is new. Um, I've got an old school mineralized skin finish. This is in Stereo Rose. This was like one of the original Stereo Rose ones. I really like this as well. Um, it's like a highlighter, like a blush topper. And I'm going to keep that. Um, I might try to use more of that. I've also got uh, Melba. This is a matte blush. This is a beautiful blush. I need to use more of it. It's beautiful, beautiful orange blush. So 
I'm definitely keeping this. I am going to go through this again and just double check if I need anything. I might clean my arm and then do swatches and make a decision. Um, Benefit Havana, I don't use this. I'm going to get rid of it. Benefit Sugar Bomb is too light for me. It looks quite not too light, but it looks like a highlighter um, on me. It's like an orange highlighter. Maybe it's actually nice as a highlighter. I'm actually going to try this. I'm getting rid of Havana. I really like Gold Rush. Gold Rush is smells so nice. That sort of looks like the same thing as this. What? No, they definitely look different. One looks more sort of orangey peachy. That is uh, Sugar Bomb and this one is uh, Gold Rush. It's a little bit more sort of uh, nude. So I'm going to keep these two and get rid of Havana. This is Too Faced Papa Don't Peach. It's one that we have repressed. I love this blush and I used it a lot, but it is becoming cracked and problematic. So I'm going to get rid of it, even though I really like it. It reminds me of these two a little bit. So I really like this and I'm really bummed. I might see if I can buy one, oh, but it's such a nice blush. If this didn't crack, I'd totally keep it. I've got a mini of Dandelion. This is too fair for me, so I'm getting rid of it. Goodbye. I've got Milani. This is one of their rose uh, highlighters and I, not highlighters, blushes, and I barely even use this. It feels really dry. I don't need it. I'm chucking it. Ooh, I've got Illamasqua. This is Lover. This is beautiful. So talking about nice peaches, this is such a nice matte peach you like oranges I love this I'm keeping it um, I've got a few others this is one I'm getting rid of so this is a uh, dulcet or dulce it's sparkly it's powdery it's light I don't need it I'm getting rid of it um, I'm also getting rid of this purpley one like I said you can tell I had a thing for purple but this is a shimmery one it doesn't blend very nicely uh, it sort of reminds me of this one that I'm kind of keeping, but more shimmery. I'm going to get rid of it. I am keeping, however, Naked Rose. This is one that I hit pan on last year. It's a beautiful sort of nude, so you can see it here. It's got that soft pinky nude kind of color. It's beautiful blush, keeping it along with this one. Okay, the Balm in Stain blush. These are very, very bold. I do not like these colors anymore. It's too bold. Getting rid of it. We've got another Milani blush here. This is in Romantic Rose. I actually, I don't know how I feel about this. Do I need it? I don't think I need it. I've got so many things that are like it. I'm going to give it the chuck, sadly. Goodbye. Sadly, I think I'm also going to give this to Chuck. This is a uh, Clinique Ginger Pop. So it's a cheek pop. And I just don't really like the formula. I think it just doesn't apply very nicely on the cheeks. I got this from a corporate store and I was hoping to really love it. But the color is too pink on me. And I don't love the formula. I'm also getting rid of Red Earth. This is a similar thing. I actually used this quite a lot back in the day. But once again, it's sort of, I don't know. It's just leans really pink on me. Um, and I don't want it. I've got this by Youngblood. It's in the shade Bashful. It's a really, really beautiful nude. If I find something that's similar, I'm not going to keep it. Um, but oh, it's actually a really nice nude. I might try to pan this. It's beautiful. Um, the formula is lovely. It's a nice nude. And I do have something similar to it. I'm not sure what it is though. Uh, those two there. But I really like that. I'm going to put that straight in my project pan thing. I want to pan that soon. I'm going to say I am not really obsessed with uh, Luminoso, this Milani highlighter. I just think it's doesn't do much for me. I, I don't know. I'm very, very torn with it. I'm very, very torn with it. These are the other ones. I feel like it doesn't really do much on me. I'm going to, I'm going to hold on to it and try it a bit. I've been using it a bit recently and it hasn't been wowing me. Fuck, if it hasn't been wowing me, do I just get rid of it? Some of these are really, really beautiful and I don't use the, I don't use these because these sort of have been in my way. So I'm going to use them and keep them, but I am not sure if they're going to stay in my collection forever. Uh, I do have this beautiful blush by SuQ. Uh, this is in the shade uh, number two um, and it's sort of like a bronzer blush in one. So if you kind of want this end, it's a bit more bronzer. If you want to go this end, it's a bit more, so it's like an ombre to pink. It's a very, very soft blush uh, and you can put quite a lot on and it doesn't, you know, 
you don't go overboard. I'm gonna keep this. I think it's a really pretty blush and it's great for travel because it's very, very sleek. This is a blush by MAC. I've been using this today. Get rid of my tissue. And it is a beautiful, it's very, very unique. It's a very pigmented. You can use it as an eyeshadow or you can apply it very, very lightly. I actually think this is beautiful and it's very unique. So it's very shimmery. So I'm going to keep that. Uh, I use this as a blush topper um, or a blush and highlighter in one. It is by Wet n Wild. It's Don't Flutter Yourself. I've used it quite a lot, as you can see. It's a beautiful uh, sort of shimmery pink topper is a highlighter blush in one i'm keeping that i really like it the last two things we've got the balm springs longwear blush so this is one that i've got uh it was only last year i think it's a nice nude what does it look like so it's a bit deeper than some of the other nudes i don't know if you can see i am going to keep this but once again i'm saying if i keep these milani ones then the problem is that i don't use things like this because the milani ones sort of are in the way so i feel like the milani ones aren't special enough i'm actually going to get rid of them all i'm sorry milani i'm sorry um i am keeping this this is a nice blush the last blush uh is this one by pixie i really 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 like this um and i think this is a beautiful blush it reminds me a lot of uh, the one by Sleek, but a little bit more muted and a little bit more pink. And I love them both. I think they're really, really nice. I like to use them. I'm going to keep it. All right, so I do still have a lot of blushes here. And like I said, I might swatch them all soon and just double check that there are no doubles because I don't need double ups of things. Um, some I, like these... I could back to Mac them. I like the collection. I'm going to see how I go with them, but I am going to sort of re-swatch a lot of that. I did get rid of from, I think I was just looking through the bin really quickly. I think it was 20 blushes I got rid of. So it's a good start, but I'm going to try to cull this down a little bit more, but I want to make room by going through my highlighters first, because this is way more problematic than the blushes currently are. So let's do it. All right, so we've got a lot going on here. I'm gonna trim some fat really quickly. I don't reach for my model's own one. This is an interesting highlighter. It's really pretty. Uh, it's a little bit too cool toned for me, so I'm not keeping it. Uh, it is very, very nice. I might give this away to someone because I've only used it a couple of times. It's a very nice highlighter and it's a pretty color. It just doesn't really suit my complexion. I'm getting rid of this e.l.f. baked one. I don't like it. It just has never worked for me. I've scraped off the top. I don't like it. I've got better things. I'm getting rid of it. I'm also going to get rid of this one by Physicians Formula. I really like this and I used it a lot. Um, I really love the warm nude one and I love this corner. But um, And I, I was such an advocate for this back in the day. But I've just got such nicer highlighters these days this is still really nice you got the bronzer you got a bit of blush you got a highlighter you can use it as an eyeshadow palette but i haven't reached for this in probably a year and a half two years so i feel like it's it should not be in my collection anymore but it's a really nice product if you like these colors okay this is going to be a hard one for me because i really like ColourPop highlighters but i don't love all these shades so number one this one is frosted and I'm going to say, even though it's a gold, it's sort of like a muted gold. It's like I like a satin highlighter. It does look all right. It doesn't really look great on me. It almost looks a bit mustardy, so I'm getting rid of that. I actually wore this one today to test it out. This is uh, whipped. It's one of those um, sort of, uh, what do you call it, marbled highlighters. And it does actually swatch really, really nicely. It's got a bit of a pink, a bit of a bronze. Um, but on me, it looks a little bit too pink and a little bit too sparkly. So I'm actually going to get rid of that. Wisp is a gold as well. I find this one actually a lot more flattering than that frosted one. It's just got more of a metallic sheen to it. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there, um, there, but it looks a little bit more natural than this yellow mustard one. So if I'm going to keep one, I'm keeping this one. I also really like Might Be, which is like a rose gold. You can see I've used that a lot. It's beautiful and it's very, very beautifully metallic. 
Um, if I'm a bit bronzed, that is a really nice highlighter. It's nice on the body, so I might keep that one. When it comes down to these two, they are both too frosty for me. I've got Flexitarian and Smoke and Whistles. They both look very, very icy on me, but the formula is so lovely, so it's very hard to see them go, but I might get rid of one or both. Smoke and Whistles, I don't use. I'm getting rid of that. Um, Flexitarian is very silvery, but it, the formula is so beautiful. Look at it. It sort of looks wet look. I don't know if you can see it there. Um, hang on. Let's put it here. It's beautiful. So I might actually keep this for now. Um, yeah, I'll keep it for now. All right. I've decided to actually get rid of Wisp, the gold one, because I've got a lot of gold highlighters, but I will keep these two. They're a little bit more unique in my collection. All right. Charabella is my friend's brand, uh, so I'm keeping them. I, I like them all. My favorite is definitely, where is it? My favorite is uh, this one that I've used the most. Uh, it is a beautiful gold highlighter. So as you can see there, so why keep like Wisp when I can use a powder one, but I'm keeping these. They don't take up much space, which is great. And um, I love Tanya, so I'm keeping it. All right, when it comes to Wet n Wild, I really, really like this Precious Petals shade. This is a gold sort of peachy color. It's so similar to this. I struggle, I struggle, I struggle, I struggle. I like it, it's pretty. I'm gonna put it to the side for now. This sort of pink one, I don't use as much. It looks a little bit light on me. So I'm gonna actually pass this on to a friend. It's a beautiful highlighter. It should go to a good home, but just on me, it's a little bit frosty. So why isn't it closing properly? But so that is going, but not going in the bin. It's going to a friend. I've got the Fenty. This is the Trophy Wife highlighter. I don't use this. We destroyed it on the Makeup Breakup. It's an interesting color and an interesting concept but I just don't use it and um, I'm not gonna use it. It's nice as an eyeshadow, but it's just not, not for me. And I don't like Fenty. I think they're a bully of a brand. So I'm getting rid of that. Stila, we've got the Heaven's Hue highlighter. This is one that we destroyed on the Makeup Breakup. Um, I don't, I think this is pretty. It's got a nice sort of wet look going on. I might actually pan this. This is going in the pan pile. All right, these Jeffree Star Supreme Frosts are all new, so I am gonna keep them for a while anyway. The one that I really like is Hypothermia. This has like a blue to pink shift. Um, it is sparkly, so it is like a glitter, but it is really, really interesting. So I am gonna keep that. It's really sort of, I can see at the moment it being a teal and then it goes pinky purple. So for me, I think that's really unique and pretty. I got Frozen Peach in the mystery box. I don't like this one as much. It doesn't really do much, but I since it is new, I'm sort of giving it a go, but I would not be surprised if this does not uh, go, like look at how nice this looks compared to that. That actually, I don't like it. I'm gonna keep it for now but I probably won't keep it past another declutter. This one is Money Honey. This one is sort of like the Fenty one, but I just think it's a little bit more unique and it's got that sort of uh, duochrome sort of uh, green and it looks more glowy. So I don't like this, I prefer this. I still don't think this works well on my skin tone, but you can see the color shift is kind of cool. So I am keeping these, but this one, I don't love. All right, we've got a few things here by Becca. We've got uh, Parisian Lights, which we destroyed on the Makeup Breakup and repressed. And these repress beautifully. Like that doesn't have the design on it, but it's a really beautiful highlighter. This is sort of like a soft uh, pink to gold. It's really gorgeous. If you don't like bold gold, this is really, really nice. Definitely keeping this. This is Berlin Girl Glow. I love it. It's my highlighter of 2018. Uh, it is a nude, but it's got a cool tone shift. So uh, let's put it on. This is such a beautiful highlighter. It's very, very subtle. So I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's a very, very subtle highlighter. It just gives the skin like a cool shift. 
It is phenomenal. Definitely keeping that, definitely keeping both of those. When we come to Opal, this is the first one I've got from Becca and um, mine broke, so I had to repress it. Uh, this one is a little bit more basic. This might be one that once in the future I might want to pan. It's a little bit more cool toned than this one and it's just a pretty basic nude highlighter. The formula is quite nice. I've got Champagne Pop, so this is more of your gold peachy sort of color so there we go this is my least favorite out of the bunch but i kind of like to keep it as a reference because people always use it to compare it to so i will keep that as well even though i don't love it if i had to get rid of any it would be uh champagne pop um i've also got this one this is a light chaser highlighter in opal flashes jade it's a little bit more unique i'll take that off actually um so it's opal as a base and then it's got a green shift to it so if we've got opal here you can see it's got the same sort of nude base, but it's got a little bit of a unique shift to it. So that is Opal, that is Opal Flashes Jade. I actually don't use this too much, but it might be one that I might want to pan in the future. It's a nice size, so I'll keep that. I've also got Becca. This is Champagne Pop in a little mini. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. I don't need it. Uh, the only reason I might keep it is for travel, but I don't really like Champagne Pop too much. So I don't... I don't know. I actually think this one actually looks nicer than the one I've got. Yeah, I'm just not going to keep this. I don't, I don't need it. All right, Maybelline Master Chrome. This is a gold one. It's super, super intense as a gold. I've got a bunch of gold highlighters, so I'm going to line them up and compare them. I recently also got from a subscriber of Beauty News, um, the one that uh, Nikki Tutorials have, has done. I haven't opened that one yet, but I've got a Master Chrome like that. This is also a gold one. This is by Laura Geller, and this is in Gilded Honey. So I'm going to just cut down some of my golds. I really don't need too many golds. That is also, it's a bit lighter and a bit brighter. So I kind of like this one a bit more. Um, we will see what to do about that. Another gold that I have is uh, MAC O Darling. I really like this one. Uh, this one I think is a permanent shade now, but this was limited edition packaging a few years ago. I actually think that one is the nicest of the three. It catches the light a bit nicer. I actually like these two uh, more than this one. So I'm actually gonna pass this one along. I haven't used it too much, so it's not even in focus. There we go. Uh, I haven't used it too much, so I might pass this on to someone. So yeah, I'm keeping these two, but I really don't need too many gold highlighters. So I might try to pan this one soon. All right, I've got two Kevin Aquan. These are Neo highlighters. This one is awesome. This is in Ibiza. You've got a light shade and then you've got like a purpley shade and sort of all in between. Um, and the quality is really nice. It doesn't look very highlighty, but it's just a glow on the skin. So I really like these. Uh, I'm going to keep that, but I particularly like this one, which is in Sahara. This is definitely a beautiful one. This has, they have three shades in it. So more of a bronzy, more of a rosy. Um, and these, once again, they don't look like bold highlighters, but they give a beautiful glow to the skin. And I just think it, they're really, really pretty. So you can't really see them too much, but I'm definitely keeping them. They're really nice, high quality highlighters. Another really good high quality highlighter is, um, this is by Laura Mercier. It is the Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Highlight 01. And I recommend this as a beautiful sort of all ages highlighter because it looks like it's matte similar to the Kevin Aquan ones, but it gives the skin like the most beautiful glow. Um, and that is like if you were doing bridal stuff or anything, that is a beautiful highlighter. I love it. I'm keeping it. It's amazing. All right, I've got this one by NARS and it is in Albatross. This is actually a really cool highlighter and I keep forgetting that I have it. Um, it's, I think it's been reformulated since, um, but it's like a white with a gold shift to it. I might put this in the try pile. I've had this for a long time. If I don't really start using it, I'm going to get rid of it, but I want to give it another crack. Um, then I have the old school. Mary Lou. So this is the Balm Mary Luminizer. This is one that I haven't used for donkey's years, but it is a classic for a reason. It is a beautiful soft champagne highlighter. I definitely don't need it, but I like having Mary Lou in my collection. So I'm going to keep that one. Uh, I've got 
four of these discontinued uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills ones. The problem with these is that when they're discontinued, it's sort of hard to wear them a lot because people are like, what are you wearing? And you're like, oh, it's something that is discontinued. But I love this peach shade as a blush topper. It's uh, peach nectar. I'm definitely keeping that. We also have Riviera, which is more of a kind of cool toned one. The quality of these are actually really nice. I don't know if you can see, but the cool tone one is there. It's really pretty. The more I swatch these, the more I'm like, oh, that's right. They're beautiful. We've got Starlight, which I've just muddied with my finger. This one is sort of like a, I don't know. It's like a peachy pink light shade. It's really pretty. I'm going to use these more and see how I feel about them. And then I have, this was So Hollywood, which is once again a gold. So I don't need too many golds in my life. This one's very similar to the Amrezy highlighter. But I'm going to try these and play with these and decide if I want to keep them. Um, so I'm putting them in the decide pile. All right, we've got some MAC here. We do not have Snow Flushed. That one I've got, but it's somewhere in a drawer. Um, I have Mineralized Skin Finished in Soft and Gentle. This is such a classic. I love this one. This brings back so many memories. I might try to pan this. Um, I don't know. I'm going to give it a go. Look at it. It's just beautiful. It's like the most beautiful like nude highlighter. I've had it for years. It's one of my all time favorites. Then they brought out a bunch and I've got another one of these somewhere. I uh, know I've got more than this. I know I've got Oh Darling as well, but I know that I've... No, no, I think this is about right. Um, this is the MAC Extra Dimen Dimension Skin Finishes. This is uh, Soft Frost, which is one of those purple highlighters. So it's that one there. I actually don't use this one much, but I kind of really like the formula, so I'm keeping it. I have Show Gold, which is my favorite of like these Extra Dimension Skin Finishes. This one is like... Um, Snow flushed, but more sort of wearable. So it's a little bit glittery. It's like a gold to pink, but not as intense as snow flushed. I love it. I I wear this often. Uh, I'm definitely keeping it. It's my most used one out of all these. Um, then we have Beaming Blush, which is more of a pink and it's got a gold shift. Um, and it's very, very pretty. So this one's more of a gold with a pink shift. This is more of a pink with a gold shift. Um, and that is beautiful as well. So oh, I don't need them all, but I want them all because they, I really like the formula. And this one is uh, superb. This is more of a bronzer one, but man, if you've got like, if you've got a tan on, it sort of reminds me of this one here, uh, might be by ColourPop, but a powder version. It just gives a bronze glow to the skin. And it is gorgeous. You can also put it on your body and it's really, really pretty. So I want to keep all of these and I might try to pan either one of these this year. I might give them a go. They are classics and I want to keep them in my collection because they're very, very good. All right. My most recent highlighter purchase is by MAC and this is the Dazzle Highlighter in Dazzle Red. I bought this mainly as uh, eyeshadow. So it is this color here and look at it, the color shift. It is beautiful. So it's not, I didn't buy it as a, as a highlighter, but if you've got deep skin, you can wear it as a highlighter. But this is just a magical unicorn and I'm keeping it. Limited edition, this is Smashbox Vlada Petal Metal Highlighter. This is glorious as well. So once again, color shift going on. It's very, very pretty. It's sort of like a MAC Snow Flushed, but it is more peachy. Uh, so it's got more of a peachy base and I don't know if you can see it here. So this is more of a, like a sort of peachy color with a pink shift, whereas uh, Snow Flushed has a similar sort of formula, but it is a pink with a gold shift. So it is different. I'm keeping it. I think it's glorious. Mecca Max. Okay, this is the Glow Powder Highlighting Duo. And I, look, I really like this, but I also don't need it. Uh, I love this side because it's got this sort of purpley color to it. Now that is gorgeous and I might keep it just for that. This sort of orange side, it doesn't wow me and that's what makes me not want to keep it, but I love this side. So I'm going to play around with the pink a couple of times, see if I love it. I do have an indie highlighter over here by, um, this is by Davina or Divina and this is in Zion. And this, I'll show you, this is a peachy color, but fuck, what a color. So that is a peach. 
and then that is a peach. This one just works a lot better as a highlighter. I don't know if you can see, possibly not. I'm gonna compare them on the back of my hand. So this one is Zion and it's got this peachy sort of glow with a bit of uh, yellow to it. Whereas this one looks a lot more powdery. So it just doesn't look as good. So if I wanted to keep it for the peach, I wouldn't, I'll just keep the diviner one. I just need to decide if I wanna keep it for this pink side, which is really, really pretty. So it's pretty, it's a pretty glittery sort of Oh, all right, these two by Pixie I really, really, really like. These are the Glowy Glossomer Duos, and this one's in Subtle Sunrise, and this one is in Delicate Dew. So they are very metallic, but very uh, wet looking on the skin. So if you blend them out, it just makes the skin look wet. I really, really dig these. I think they're beautiful. I'm gonna keep them. I'm just thinking I'm taking these traveling with me. I'm taking this one traveling with me. This is the warmer toned one. Um, I think these are gorgeous. And I'm just thinking, I like these so much that I probably don't need these. These sort of do the same kind of thing, but it's a cream formula that dries out. So I'm actually gonna get rid of these. I'm sorry, ColourPop. I really like ColourPop, but I haven't been using them recently and I prefer these. This is a really old product. I've had it in my collection for a long time, but it's beautiful. It's the Mineral Illuminizer in 04 by Scout Cosmetics. Now, this is gorgeous. Talking about sort of bronze, bronzy sort of skin, this is like, it gives you that beautiful wet look, but it's, it's gorgeous. I might want to, use this up this year because I've had it for so long but it's one of my favorite highlighters it's got four grams of product it's going to take me forever but I might use this on my body as well but I really like that it's an oldie but a goodie and I just yeah I don't reach for it as much as I should but I definitely should these are all from Urban Decay um, I don't think I'm going to keep them all I haven't reached for these in a long time we've got Aura which is this sort of soft purpley color it's got this sort of pink sheen to it it's very pretty but once again on me it makes me look very very pale so i might pass that on uh we've got sin which is just your typical champagne i don't need it it's not inspiring it's not bad but it's not super inspiring and then i've got fireball which is actually beautiful it's a duochrome and it goes like orange to uh, pink and it's very where, where we're gonna put it it's really interesting so I might give that one another go you can barely see it it's very very subtle I find things that have sort of peachy shifts to them or whatever it's just doesn't show up that well on the skin but I'm gonna give that one another go um, but I'm actually gonna get rid of these I feel really bad because I like having the whole collection but I just don't reach for them all right, I've got two stick products. We've got an Hourglass Vanish Stick in Champagne Flash, and we have a Dewy Stick. I've barely used these. I, they've been in my drawer, so I want to pull these out in winter and give them a go, so I'll keep them. And then the last one is this Dior Highlighter. So it's the Illuminating Pressed Powder in 001. Um, this compact is really, really beautiful. Uh, we destroyed it on the Makeup Breakup, and this is a really nice, soft, light gold shade it's once again very flattering on all sort of skin tones so i think i might keep that all right i've just been having a bit of swatching and i've been putting a few things on my face and i've decided i'm going to get rid of this nars one i do like it but i don't need it um everything else um, I think I might pass on this one. I really like this side, but I don't like this side. Yeah, I love this color, but um, I love it swatched, but I don't love it so much on me. It looks too pink, so I'm going to pass that one on too. Also, I'm planning on getting rid of this one, I've decided. Even though I really like Fireball on me, it looks very, very pink and it looks less highlighter and more like a blush. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one, sadly. Um, goodbye. All right, on second thoughts with blushes as well, I am thinking of getting rid of Sugar Bomb. I don't think it's too, it's dark enough for me. Getting rid of this. I'm also thinking of using these soon and deciding which one I wanna get rid of. I don't need them both, so one of those will go. And the last decision I made is I decided that the Steeler Kitten Heaven's Hue Highlighter 
Uh, even though it is a pretty highlighter, I do still prefer to use powder products. So I'm not going to pan this. I'm going to get rid of this and pan uh, MAC Soft and Gentle. All right, so this is the blush highlighter bronzer drawer now. I only had a few bronzers in here, which was good. I've still got a lot of blushes. I've still got a lot of highlighters, but um, before this was sort of overflowing, going everywhere, this is not going to be the final drawer. I will organize this a lot better um, and I might go through and as I organize them, I might actually still get rid of a few. So I'll leave that video there, but what I will do over the next few weeks is organize these a lot better into different drawers and then as days go on, I will try different blushes, different highlighters and decide what should be kept and what can go. So this is not the final amount, but this is the final amount before I'm, you know, reminding myself what they're like on the face. So that's that. All right, so in the last video, I talked about my base products and I mentioned my base products in this top drawer. Um, and uh, you'll see, hopefully, that my bronzers are in here too. So the bronzers that I'm not currently using in my project pan are in here. So I've got a full of bronzer. Uh, the other one's here, so there's not, you know, fits in nicely with my base products. The blush and highlighter drawer is a little bit crazier. So let's just tilt down. So this is my blush and highlighter drawer. So a few things are like two things deep. Um, a few things are three things deep. Um, I will go through some of these, try some more products. Like I said, I want to try these. See if I really like this blush. I realized I had this one in a different area. So yeah, the plan of this is to minimize this a little bit more, but I want to use some products first. I want to use this, I want to use these, um, and then I'll get rid of some other ones. But they do all fit in one drawer, which is great. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. I will see you in the next one and have a good day. Bye.